Hi all, I have an amazing game presented by Fracti on the Leela forums today. Stockfish 8 against Leela ID 10695. Time control 2 minutes per 40 moves. Hardware 4.6 gigs single core against GTX 970. The book moves given. We go into the Sicilian Nidorf, so Leela playing with the Sicilian Nidorf, a favourite of Fisher and Gasparov. Bishop E2 here, E5, Knight B3. Leela plays Bishop E7. Queen d3, bishop e6, bishop e3, both sides now castle, queen c7, rook a c1, knight bd7, knight d5. So this changes the pawn structure here. Bishop takes, e takes, a5, leader is interested in a dark square grip. So a5, that c5 square may be very handy for black. c4, g6. A4, we have rook fe8, rook fe1, h5, which is seems to be a very good part of a dark square campaign here in general when h5 is played. We see this a lot in games in the King's Engine defense, uh, this kind of idea. b6, so that seals that c5 square, but black is also interested in other dark squares generally in this position. Queen c2, bishop f8, bishop d3. We have king h7, rook cd1, bishop h6, willing to trade off white's dark square bishop. White ignores that, bypasses that, and then we have h4, bishop f1, king g7, as though maybe rook h8 later is useful. Bishop e2, white's play seems a little bit aimless here, and Lila gets on with things with knight c5, changing the pawn structure again, or encouraging white. To remove that seemingly bad knight on b3 but capturing away uh, capturing towards the center here it seems there's no immediate pawn break for white here rook f1 we have queen d7 so it looks as though b4 is out of the question f4 is out of the question white's getting locked down on the on the dark squares rook d e1 rook h8 bishop d1 bishop g5 B3 and now wanting the exchange of queens. Queen f5. White obliges and doubles Lila's pawns. Bishop c2. f4. Bishop d3. Now knight h5 is played. Where is this knight going? King h1. Rook h f8. As though to prepare f5. Rook g1. f5. And now f3. And this looks as though it's setting a kind of trap for black. Isn't it? Is it? There's a tempting move which maybe doesn't quite work, or does it? <laughs> what would you play here if I give you five seconds to pause the video, starting from now? So black to play. Okay, knight g3 check is played. So there's only one move, hg, hg, and black is threatening checkmate. But can white do anything about this or not? Well, white actually plays this move, which gives the king g1. So this is not checkmate now. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, anything else, we can see that this is a checkmate. Or bishop takes, we can just... Uh, if, if bishop takes, we can just take the bishop. Rather than allowing um, bishop h3, we can just take the bishop. And then... That's, that really didn't help white. So so this seems plausible, rook f1. And now, uh, yeah, this is a really interesting position. Leela plays king g6. You'll see different variations in the pinned comments uh, of the video. It does seem as though there might have been an alternative as well with the check. The move order might actually not be totally crucial, believe it or not, if check or, you know, King g6 is played. So King g1 is played. Rook h8 now. So black, if black had another few moves, then Rook h2, Rook h8, and Rook h1 checkmating. So white is a full piece up. Can white do anything about this? Evacuate the king or something? Uh, here, Rook d1 is played. If these rooks can shuffle along, the king can go to f1, then to e2. Can it not? Rook h2 
and now yeah sliding block puzzle here rook fe1 so the king can go to f1 to e2 so that one had to get out of the way of that one uh so now here uh this is really really uh interesting in this position this is a, a very subtle uh move now is played uh if here then it seems as though king f1 and there's nothing really going on here and you might think well this is really like pointless but actually there's a really uh interesting idea as instead very precise uh, bishop f6 now this introduces a tactical threat of e4 exposing the loose piece on c3 so very very interesting and also the possibility even if bishop takes then e takes where the escape route of the king might be cut off for a moment so bear that in mind white plays here bishop d2 this is all very already a really interesting position to see if there's defensive resources available here uh, instead of bishop d2 if king f1 e4 so that hits the bishop and for example bishop takes f takes threatens now checkmate because the escape square is taken off uh, so bishop c3 is checkmate and if bishop d4 then that's pretty hopeless just see <laughs> to try and play bishop g1 or something then then that's just taken that's just hopeless uh, this is a big advantage to black this position uh, so yeah really interesting position after bishop f6 white plays bishop d2 and this seems to be designed against e4 because then uh, bishop takes f4 might be possible so just to put this on the board um, e4 bishop takes f4 would seem uh, plausible where white could end up being okay potentially uh, you know, maybe even sacking the exchange, maybe taking on d6. Uh, but this this wasn't played actually. E4 wasn't played here after bishop d2. Instead, a very calm move, king g5, is played. So protecting f4 in advance, we have now king f1, and here now e4 in this position. And this is really a stunning idea. F takes e4 is played. And clearly, if check, then king e2, and white's got a big advantage there. So, what is this? And if bishop d4, then e takes, and again, white's got a big advantage. There's, there's nothing going on. But black, Lila, now plays rook e8. So, this again cuts out the king escape square e2 in the variations. You know, so e takes his checkmate there. So white is in a bit of a bind here, a sort of positional tactical bind, and plays bishop takes a5. On bishop c2, for example, bishop d4 is very dangerous. And this position, for example, uh, after rook f2 is extremely dangerous for white. Uh, so here, check, and you know, it's like white's going to be losing lots of material actually in this scenario these these connected pass pawns just end up to be winning uh so you know queening over there uh so here uh bishop takes a5 was played and now again touching on e2 escape square f3 threatening checkmate in one so g takes we have check and now bishop d4 this is a really crushing position. Uh, so white tries now bishop c3. On bishop b1, then there's rook d2 check, discover check. And then g2 check is mate, actually. <laughs> uh, so this is pretty hopeless. And here, this is just delaying the inevitable rook e3. Uh, so very very uh, it's actually impossible to defend this position here now we have the desperate bishop c3 uh, that's just taken rook e2 and now rook takes f3 
King G4, E tanks. And now, uh, yeah, this, this is just absolutely losing. Uh, there's a losing tactic after E tanks, F5. But as an example, th there's a kind of mating net being woven here. Because if A5, Rook H8 for Rook H2, so A6, Bishop D4, for example, just to show the mating net potential, Rook H2 checkmate. So White's, White has to get out of this. So this move E tanks is played, <clears throat> but it allows Black to play. Can you see? Rook takes d3, yeah, it's just the tactic now. <laughs> uh, so weakening e2, uh, that's taken on e8. Rook takes d1, so bishop up for not much compensation. And the game continues a little bit like this. And here it's kind of resigned, auto-resigned. I think both sides thought the threshold was very high, so it stopped here in Black's favour. So I thought that was a really interesting game. If you look at this with your own engine, you'll see that even like a stockfish for a moment without too much depth thinks it's just equal this knight sack. But yeah, it's like white is on a bind for a few moments, which and really black can subtly improve the position a piece down. It's one of those rare cases, yeah, of being just able to improve a piece down uh, to kind of still work the mating net potential up to regenerate the, <laughs> the mating net potential, leaving white helpless. So I thought this was a fascinating game. Uh, I hope you did too. Comments, questions, like, shares appreciated. Thanks so much.